Here's a look at our newly redesigned user interface. Uh, everything is browser-based now with Starship. You also have a cloud or multi-tenant solution available to you uh, besides just the perpetual license. So you have the ability to have Starship hosted for you in the cloud with an all-in solution, one single price point for support, service, and maintenance, and can be quickly deployed and accessed in the cloud. That's just by using a browser. With Business Central, uh, we're working off of uh, orders, invoices, or order lines. Uh, so you have the ability to, to ship against different types of transactions at different stages of your workflow. Or you can also just access the customer records directly here. Typically, you're going to enter or scan a record into Starship here. So if you have a barcode, you can scan that in. Starship will go grab the record. You have this view of all of your pending transactions here. So once an order has been released in Business Central, that becomes available to ship against here. All these fields can be sorted on in the columns here, similar to Excel. Or you also have filters where you can drill down into a subset of data. So we'll go ahead and select the record and get started shipping. We'll connect over to BC, bring in all of the uh, address information, the order header information. We'll populate that here. You'll see a number of widgets here where you can expand the view by clicking on the pencil icon. That'll show you some additional data here. And you can also customize the view with whichever fields you want to display on screen. Carrier and service will be translated from your ship via your agent in BC. You can always override that here. You can also bring in collect or third party billing as well. All of your product information will flow through as well. And that could be packed up here on the Starship screen. You also have a database of all your different common box types. So you can store that here, including the length, width, and height. So we can compare the actual weight versus the build weight. And whichever the, the higher of the two is, that's what the carrier will assess the rates on. Your rates, we're going to go and grab from the carrier in real time. And you can drill down into the rates here to see exactly how we arrived at that price. There's also rate shopping available. So you can have Starship automatically select the rate, or the user can pick that here. There's also a rate quote utility, which is available to calculate rates or excuse me, calculate freight rates um, on the front end. So if you have folks in customer service, accounting, sales that need to calculate the freight before it goes out the shipping, you have access to that with the rate quote as well. We'll go ahead and leave it with UPS, but you can see there's potentially other services that we can get it there by. It'll break these out from the least cost down to the most expensive, as well as the ability to sort on transit time. If it's more of a time sensitive shipment, you can also bring in a date and a time here when it needs to be there by, and Starship will filter out all the results. So we're gonna go ahead and award the business to UPS. I'll process the shipment here. With that, we're going to um, print out our labels, our documents. See so just a quick preview of a label here. And we'll feed that data back into Business Central so you have it there for customer service. Let's take a look at that transaction. Starship will enter the freight um, as the uh, line item here on the sales transaction. If we were to send this with a different carrier, we also have uh, backwards value translations where it can change this to carry the carrier to say, say FedEx or USPS and the service level as well. And tracking number will go into uh, the package tracking field here in the order header. Starship also has a widget which will give you additional fields that you can add into the BC order header. We have these notes here. So you can customize the notes to have whatever level of detail you're looking for within Business Central. It will give you some basic information about when it went out, when it's going to get there, the piece counts, and then the contents of the shipment. We also have these user defined fields here. So we can track additional amounts on the freight. Uh, you can add as many different user-defined fields here and map that data back easily into BC. So here I just have, you know, my cost and whatever the list price is. 
So if we want to do some reconciliation, see exactly uh, what our profit margin is versus what we're charging the customer, we have easy access to that information here.